Right then guys, a bit of a different video today because I'm going to film it with my phone. Tell me if there's any quality difference. Obviously it's making me look a lot older. Um, so anyway, welcome back. It's Sunday. I have been busy. Um, I suspect people have seen the little bonus footage from yesterday when I came back and uh, I seen my uh, koi wasn't very happy. So um, I've ordered some treatment. Um, I'm glad I'm waiting a few days because I've got two more fish come in uh, Wednesday and my pond is chocker. There's no more fish going into them for a while. Um, also, I've got a fish reveal as well. I've got to show you my new Shuro from Omosako again. It's a beauty and we've got a, a little before and after of what it was like with a picture from the koi farm in Japan and what it looked like just before Gary sent it to me three days ago. So uh, it's very interesting actually for the development of the sumi and stuff. But what I'm doing now is, um, I've just, let me swing you around guys. Let's see if this works here. No, that doesn't work. So what I've done is I've had to rip up my bamboo. Absolutely love that stuff. So easy to grow and it looks lush and very Japanese. So anyway, I've got a couple of things in the post that I want to show you. Um, so obviously we've got my backy shower, which got taken down a couple of, uh, well, a week ago or so. And I ordered this. So obviously this is upside down, but it's the four inch spigot tray, which goes onto the Momotaro backy shower. So that's going to be good. And that's going to be sitting in the new filter house. Um, oh, left a slide there. Um, so currently guys, we've got this working. So uh, she's making a mix for me at the moment. And this is currently where I'm at. So I've done this in the evenings. Um, I've had to, um, pack up a few uh, few walls so I wanted this to go off um, obviously not ideal I've put the foot in that side obviously to support this little trim of wall this does go down a long way mine it's about 18 inches down um, and this all this path is going to be back filled so that is going to be solid but what I've had to do is is uh, is pack this little section in here to get as level as I could so I can start doing the runs into the um, into the fur fix up there. I'm not sure if you call it a fur fix or a wall tie or a block tie, whatever it's called anyway. Um, so this is the opening, as you can see here, for my patio doors. Um, my patio doors are um, 180 wide, so I've got a five mil tolerance on that to make sure it doesn't catch me out. Um, I'm gonna crack on with these walls now for a mix, and then, uh, funny enough, guys, let me spin you around. I'm going to a bonsai show. Mate, the content in this channel is never ceasing to amaze even myself. So I'm going to go to a bonsai uh, show today. It's in the, the Welsh Botanical, Gar Botanica Botanical Gardens in Carmarthen. Um, I've got to wait for the boy to wake up. He's going to go on his little nap, otherwise he'll be grumpy. So um, I thought I'd come down here, get some stuff prepped, and uh, I thought I'd get a mix going so I can get at least, you know, a dozen blocks smashed in. And then we'll go from there, guys. I don't know where the day is going to take us. I don't know what this video is going to be like. I don't know how long the video is going to be like. But I will get back to you when we've had some progress. I've got to line this up now. Make sure everything's trim and true. Trim and true. Do you know what I mean? And we'll go from there. Yes. So the boy's just woken up. Uh, so we're going to go to this bonsai show now. Oh, covering the camera. Uh, we're going to the bonsai show now. But... Um, perfect timing actually because I've just used the mix and I've literally run out of blocks so I'll show you what I've done so far guys ah. let me spin yeah so I'm no builder but that's okay Family time, Mrs. Adfield, look, the child in the background, and we've equally, look, you've got my mother. Mrs. My, Adfield. Mrs. Adfield, look at my mother, she's gorgeous. <laughs> I don't know if anybody knows, but she used to be the only prostitute in Pembrokeshire in the day. Oh my God. What are you like? Oh, well, I don't know. But anyway, we're just on the way to the bonsai show, guys, in the Botanical National Welsh Gardens. So we'll see you there. <laughs> just get to Starbucks. Oh, it's gorgeous, guys. Yeah. Look at that. There's a lovely little lake by here. I did look for some, uh, 
for some koi. My mum was standing on the bridge and I said, you should have been underneath your troll. Anyway, look at that for a water feature. Oh, look at that. Get me money back, boys. Another cracking water feature, guys. We're going into the dome here. Looks incredible. Uh-oh. Mum? All right, I'll sit in the seat. You'll have to wait outside. <laughs> Wowzers. Come on. This is where you want a koi pond, guys. How class is this? Oh, lovely. Look at this Japanese garden. All that needs a couple of koi in there. Look how amazing that pine tree is, guys. Right then, guys. Just come back from the bot botanical gardens. Why do I have such problems saying that? Do you want to look at my fish? Oh. Scared them then. Anyway, just got back from the uh, botanical gardens. Um... Well, if there was a bonsai show on it, I couldn't find it. Um, so maybe there was, maybe there wasn't, but it was a lovely walk around. So um, what I'll do is I, uh, I think I've put some, I think I've put some, uh, some videos up of this, of the garden. They've got loads of little water features there, which is proper cool. Nice ideas, awesome little trickle waterfall all the way down. But anyway, I'm going to crack on with this now for a little bit, guys. Um, don't know what to do now because I've actually used up all my um, all my blocks. But let me spin you around and show you what I've done. Right, guys. Before I start, I finished my driving for the day. I'm on lockdown. Cheers, everybody. Happy Sunday. So, guys, what I've done so far today. Now I've run out of blocks. I've got a hundred blocks coming tomorrow, but that's what I've done so far. Um, obviously this path here is going to be backfilled um so i had to sort of do what i could to build it on top of that uh, existing wall there um it's got a bit of an overhang but i put some put some slate on the other side to support it but uh, to be honest i'm not a builder i am not a builder i do believe that i done that bottom section there wrong i phoned my mate up and he goes no you should have done that one a brick and that and then you get your half bond well all right okay calm down but anyway so learn from your mistakes i wasn't going to take the bricks out just to do that one there that's the bottom course not interested in that one but from there up it's obviously going to be done that way um done that over there as well obviously that's not probably quite right but hey it ain't gonna fall down it's there so this is the opening i've got for my french doors got five mil tolerance but now i think everyone can see pretty much how big my pump house is going to be so again what i'm going to do is this existing wall here is going to be taken down okay so it's going to be a whole flat surface up there and another flat surface down here so um, we will do a step down here so that'll be i've got to fill up this section once i take that wall down and um and then we'll put the slab i'm going to lay the slab possibly tomorrow um, I am thinking about putting a drain in here, but I don't know if I need to or not, to be honest, because I've got the eco drain up there for all the waste. So I don't think I'm going to need a drain here. So I'm not going to put, actually, I'm not going to put a drain here. I'm just making more work for myself. Um, but like I said, I got another hundred blocks coming tomorrow. Um, I got two ton of all in, a uh, ton of sand and a ton of aggregate. Is it? I don't know, whatever it's called. Um, so I'll see if I can get this done tomorrow. I've got all the damp course and all that to go in there. Um, I do need to seriously consider 
taken this up but i don't know whether to do that before i do this or whether just titivate a little bit here now ready for tomorrow but i do have to do another job guys and the other job i've got to do is so that's my bamboo i don't want that to die because i love it so what i'm going to do today is i am going to get um i've got a load of timber and i'm going to make basically a rolling moving bed so i'm going to put that down in this little gap here so that will give us a nice backdrop of bamboo all the way through there so that's where that's going to go and i'm going to do that later on this afternoon i do need to make a little fence to go up there as well because my boy is a nightmare at the moment he wants to come out and um i'm quite keen to get this going i am quite keen to get this up and running and uh and mount it pretty much so that's pretty cool so all you've got to do with this one is the bottom wear tier is going to come away. I'm going to take the little legs that you can see me pointing to here off that tier of the shower. And then those little bolts will bolt into the things there. And that gives it, I think it probably is going to give it like a, an inch tolerance. So obviously when the water crashes down through the media, it'll find its level and then plop straight down the four inch. And I show you now exactly where that's going to live, guys. So the four inch backy shower is going to live here. So I'm going to uh, build uh, two block columns on here. And then my backy shower then will sit uh, at the top there. And then it will come up inside the filtration house. Um, obviously, I need to take these off here. And then this gets built up. Um, solid wall all the way across and all the way across here I think I'm gonna do it as well I don't have to do that side I can just actually take take well, I don't know it looks quite good like that I could leave it like that for now but my plan was this would be built straight up by to the height of the actual um, to, to, to the height of the pump house and then continue it across um, to continue it across is literally just the aesthetic look of it so um, that's not a real massive problem um but yeah but i would have said this wall will probably be built up to probably about the height of that fence there i would have t i would have guessed and then it'll slightly fall back then probably only fall probably about 100 mil through 300 meter through three meters because i'm going to put a rubber roof on it so um yeah so that's not going to need much of a fall guys um the one thing i the one thing i am concerned about is i haven't bought myself a window yet so um like i said i got the french doors here full glass french doors which is going to leave loads and loads of light through but i want to put a window on this side here so we can get some of this boom light coming through here um i haven't bought that window yet so um i'm not sure what height the window is going to be so but i think pretty much yeah, I, I can build it up at least to the height of this anyway. Um, so I might have to, I can't find one on Face Bay anyway, guys. So I might have to go and bite the bullet and buy one off the shelf in Wix, which is going to cost me a couple of hundred quid. But it is what it is, you know. So that's where I am, guys. I haven't been lazy. I got up early this morning and um, it's looking pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, it's going to be a lovely size when it's done and a double tier as well so it's going to look proper cool so my plan is the top tier is all going to be the filtration and then the bottom tier is going to be my my area so i don't really want anything there i've got a nice stainless steel table to fit in there which i'm going to measure in a minute actually because i've got a funny feeling it's going to fit perfect on the other side oh so i'll get back to you later on after i've done a bit of a clean up here and then we're going to go to the garage and do some woodworking skills guys it's just like school isn't it cdt oh hey guys that's that cleared up reasonably well so uh i'm ready now for tomorrow i'm still don't know what to do with that at the moment because that's got to move that's got to move to there um so obviously i've got to do all the pipe work and stuff for that to go through i've got to core drill the pipes through here um but i'm not sure if i want to move it yet or not it's going to be hard because i need to do the slab as well so uh I think what I might have to do is start doing this section here and maybe, yes. Hmm. 
so difficult mate trying to get things done um in the right order um so i think what i'm gonna have to do is where i've got this sitting on a couple of blocks i'm gonna have to put the couple of blocks down here where they're actually gonna sit and be forever and then foul swoop move that through attach pipe work possibly temporarily on um some flexi pipe i guess so i can get rid of this and start taking down all of this section here because that's the only thing that's stopping me from collapsing this realistically so let me think about that let me think about that overnight and we'll see what's going to happen i might have to tackle that tomorrow to be honest um and i think the inch and a half pipes going into that on couplings i've got a load of inch and a half flexi hose so there might be a way to do it we'll see right then guys we are in the garage of woe um winter cover is there i've still got to put one beam across that way which i've got just haven't done it yet because all of a sudden we've got summer again strange so i thought i'd crack on with the build what i have got to do next is i've got five deck uh i've got 10 decking boards and i'm going to use that to make myself a mobile planter box for my <sighs> bamboo i can't do anything else with the pond build at the moment well the pump house build at the moment because i'm waiting for a travis perkins um delivery tomorrow so i am hoping that they are going to be reasonably early um but we can see, we can only hope that they will get here on time. Uh, and I am first on their run. So, just checking out my block work. Looks pretty straight to me. <laughs> Wipe out. So, um, I'll get back onto this now. I'll do a little bit more video footage once I've got a plan in my head. Um, uh, this is a, a snap attack. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just going to do what I've got to do with the timber I've got. And let's see what happens. Oh, oh, right. Started on that planter, but uh, for some reason, I've had enough for today. So what I'm going to do is, my final job of the day is move the mixer out of the way. Give my koi pond, give my filter a bit of a clean. So, uh, if anybody's interested, guys, here we go. Turn the lights on. What I do then is, with my foot that you can't see, closing the bottom drain. I'm leaving it go a little bit so it lowers the uh, thing, then I'm turning that off. Then I put this in. Then I turn the outside chamber off, the inside chamber on, and bubble that bad boy. The crap coming up there, guys. Oh yeah. my media is still safe and sound in there and obviously inside the media itself um, what I'm gonna do today guys to treat the fish is I might put some Koi Masters advantage in I'm not sure I might do that tomorrow um, but yeah so I've got some of my treatments here I've got my hydrogen peroxide which is oh yes he is Oh, what have you got for me there, Mrs. Adfield? Yeah, what? <laughs> Thank you very much, darling. How you doing, Wolf? Hey, hey. What's happening? Hey, hey. He's at like that. What's this new wall here, Dad? Yeah. Can I kick it? No, you can't. Yeah. Can I kick it? No, you can't. That's a song, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, the fish do look a lot happier today, guys. I'm not going to lie. Look at that. Are you joking me? Cheers, Nev. And, um,. What I might do is my fish reveal tomorrow. What? What you want? What you want? <laughs> just leaving that bubble away. It's been bubbling now for about five minutes. And I've just been admiring my fish. Oh, what's this? Another piece of candy. Right, there we are. But uh, the fish and the water quality looks amazing. I'm pretty happy. Like, I'll be honest with you. Like, the Nexus is absolutely fine it's it's there, there is no issue with the quality that it keeps the water at all the only issue i've got is 
that I want something that cleans, uh, you know, more often. So I can just set it and, and, and leave. And when I go on holidays and stuff, I know it's gonna be cleaning for me. Look at the white on that Danichi Koi. It is so vibrant, it's insane. Yeah, lovely. I hope you're enjoying this as much as I am, guys, because that's my Sakai Fish Farm Kahaku. Um, don't look at that Shiro, because technically I shouldn't have that yet, because we haven't done the reveal. What I have done, guys, is that's where my feeder is there. So the um, the little bit of um, slate in the corner there, I felt might have been a little bit sharp because they do all, they they thrash around there like goodens going for the food. So I've just taken my grinder to the tip of that and just um, rounded it off. Oh, what a swim by! What a swim by! That is a nice kahaku, isn't it? Come on, guys. It looks like a perfect three-step on one side. And then you see it on the other side and it goes, ha ha, fooled you. So then, guys, let's go back into the Nexus. Here we are. Oh, look at all this rubbish. So from here, what I do is I go down to my waist, open this valve. Oh, strength for the bit. Uh, and uh, she's coming down here. And she's actually, oh, that stinks, like my missus socks. And then at the moment, it's all going down here. But like I'm saying, this is all gonna get plumbed up to the echo drains up there and uh, I'm plumbed in. But at the moment, that keeps my path pretty clean. I am not gonna lie. Good job, sir. Oh, bubbles have come back on. So for anyone that doesn't know, my bubbles are on a timer unit. If you can see that, I randomly cut the bubbles on and off sporadically. Um, I think it's better for the fish because I'm a bit of interest. So from here, guys, my um, filter is gopping. So what I do from here, if you look at this, every time I do this, I've got the, uh, the four inch valve here. I'll kick it and purge it. So. So I purge the whole drain every single time. What is that green thing in there? It's fish poo! So I purge the whole drain every single time, boom, uh, until it runs clear. And then from here, I haven't got the end on my hose. Normally that's got an end on it, but I haven't got one in today. So let's open that. I'll put it down there. I almost get a load of crap coming out of there. And, uh, yeah, just swill it down. Normally, I've got my jet wash in here. So I normally, um, I got a long hose bit on the jet pipe, on the jet wash, and I can get right down there. Um, today, I haven't, not the end of the world. I would suspect this is what 99% of the UK does to um, swill the Nexus out. And bear in mind, if you've got an auto system, as in upgrade to the Nexus auto system on these, then it doesn't even swim itself out at all. So it's lucky that I even do this. Um, turn that off, put that in. As you can see guys, there's my trickle in there. So it goes through my big blue and uh, she comes in there. I can't remember how many liters an hour it is, but it's ample. So from here guys, I'll turn off the outside air, turn on um, the inside air. Shut this off. Lefty loosey, righty tighty. Okay, from there, I'll kick the old bird strain again. Four inch uh, valve. And she fills up, guys. What I'm going to do is turn this on again now. So we'll start taking water from the outer chamber back to the pond. The uh, bottom drain is filling up this section. When they equalize, pull out the old tube. I just leave that there all the time so I know it's there. And uh, Bob's your uncle, guys. So this is on a very 10,000 and it's at 70%. So you can do the maths. 
to about 7,000 litres an hour going through there. Um, reasonably slow, but I'm getting an excellent results with that. So, don't want to teach anyone to suck eggs, but that's how I do my Nexus. How do you do yours? What I also do, guys, is give this a good clean. As you can see, <coughs> they've had some lettuce. Look at all those worms and bugs. Ugh. So anyway, yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, I'm going to put the camera down because I need to get the hose in there. But um, yeah, a bit of lettuce left over from uh, yesterday. Is where it is. Woo! Right then, guys. I've had enough today. Been working on it pretty much on and off all day. Um, I've even started something I didn't think I was going to start today because I've got a big shipment tomorrow coming of um, all in and hardcore and all that kind of stuff. So to that end, what I've done is stripped up my little patio. A little bit gutted about that, to be honest, because I actually like the patio. It was very handy to keep things tidy, but I had to get rid of that. Um, so let me spin you around and show you what I've done. Yeah, carnage. Absolutely carnage. So I've done a couple of wheelbarrow runs down my ramp to the highway to hell. Um, and what my plan is, I've got rid of all the blocks all around the periphery here. I've got a few blocks around there to come up tomorrow. I'm going to keep digging this down. Now that's quite a lot of hardcore down there. So I'm going to keep digging this down here and all the way across here. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to backfill with all of this spoil into this hole. But I've got a funny feeling from about this point here, all the way around, um, I'm going to have to smash up the footings because realistically, I want the patio to finish. See where that level is there? So I want it to match here. So as you can see, uh, you know, that's just above patio, patio finish height as it is. So um, I'll see how I'm feeling tomorrow. Um, it doesn't have to be done tomorrow, um, but I'll uh, wake up early. We'll clear some more of this. We'll backfill all of this spoil into the void, um, which will make a nice soak away anyway from when I'm working. Uh, and I can clean this and just tip it onto it. And then uh, when I feel funky, I can come back and smash up this. But I want to get this done pretty quick because that needs to sit on the finished height down there. Oh, it's never ending. So to that end of things, guys, that's Sunday videos finished and wrapped up. The fish look extremely happy, even though they've probably got nits or the equivalent of nits. Um, I've been talking to some koi friends about my pH problem. And um, stupidly yesterday, I put the KH buffer up in. I don't know why I've done that. This is like a brain fart, isn't it? So um, luckily I only put 50 grams of that in, so that hasn't really touched the sides. But what I've done is I've actually, um, I've uh, raised the flow rate of the trickle in. So my, uh, my tap water is about 5.5 anyway. So um, that should make an impact by this time tomorrow. Um, yeah, so anyway, to that point, I'm gonna do another video tomorrow because I'm cool. Uh, and, uh, I shall see you in the morrow, guys.